Well, that's uh, the old driveway down the road, the new one. Um, as you can see, we've got a few trees in here, some um, some bushes, which we're going to turn into a hedge. One of our palms there. This tree's in flower and bloom right now. Um, I'm going to turn around. And uh, all the tan tan that needs to be done. And you can see that, oh, I'm going to be shooting into the sun, which is going to be a real bugger, but um, yeah, there's a lot of bush here that needs to be cleared, but that's where we haven't been working. Of course, we've got some palms over here. As the driveway comes up, you'll begin to see the beginnings of the Great Wall of Scott. Um, I just got round this corner today, so she's been a been a big day. But you can see how it's going to curve around there, and then um, I'll cut in. It'll run all the way up there, and then um, it'll curve around behind this um, royal palm. And then the effort involved becomes more evident as we <laughs> walk down here. There's my sweetie. She's carrying buckets of rocks around today. When I'm um, digging in here to where, I, where the wall's going to flow, we uh, just come across one or two rocks, mate. <laughs> Alright, as we uh, wander down, you can see now where the, we, I had to cut in and curve around behind some of the palms here. And you can see where the um, upper layers are going in, because eventually it'll terrace all of this area up here, including all the way to the top of the bank. But obviously that's a long way off, so we'll just keep... Uh, following along what we have here. All the way here. <laughs> sure, when you look at it, it's just quite a bit of work here. Each one of those blocks weighs about 20-25 pounds. Um, if you remember, you might have remembered a, a couple of photos from way early on where I was um, just down a couple of layers of block from here where the um, culvert is, but uh, obviously now we're a bit, uh, a bit beyond that. So. Yeah, you can see where I've started to terrace it up here and create some planting areas and continue on around. Oh, there's some blocks stacked there for a back one. Oh, who's that? Who's that? The Ninja Kitty. Yep, we've got a cameo from the Ninja Kitty. Yep, he's not even camera shy. All right, and it continues along. <laughs> and as it snakes its way up this way, <laughs> As you can see, there is plenty of work in progress and a long way to go. Because um, eventually it'll go all the way up to the corner there. And then at, at various levels it'll come across and um, you can see where we've had another slip there. So it's got to basically terrace this whole, the whole embankment here. But um, yeah, obviously we've got some plants here that are doing quite well considering they were just thrown in for good measure. Colleen does a good job at all of that. Um, I don't know whether they all are, but they all look good. This um, banana here started as a wee guy and now it's just gone huge and started clumping out, so that's cool. And there's our guy. There's the ninja kitty. <laughs> Can I roll around in the dirt and do something cute? Well, so um, yeah, a lot more to do, but um, this has been a major project because it holds back all that dirt and keeps everything, you know, in place. And I think um, once it's done, it'll be uh, quite spectacular. But I have uh, dug away and done all of this on the old lonesome down here. This has been my big project, and I continue to do so. All right. And then, well, uh, I'll take you over the fruit tree area. Yeah, so we'll continue walking up the driveway here. See, we've got all our palms on the side here that are doing well. Oh, big fur just took off over the house. And um, we'll take a walk down to our fruit tree area, and Colleen will give you the running commentary. I got the steps. Oh, okay. You, you're, you can you're talk. Going. Okay. So we've got our amazing kapok tree here no, that actually that gets there. to be a huge buttressed root tree. 
So not, not in our lifetime, but it'll be a huge rainforest tree when it's done. That's a queen palm. Yep, those are two queen palms. A lime tree over right here. Five steps. And this whole area was dug out. So here we have a male papaya that's not doing really well. But here's a female papaya. Oh, shit. <laughs> so uh -huh. we've actually got uh, some papayas there. Yep, yep. Are they green right now? Yep. This is our um, Keith mango. So he's just starting to do something. He's got all these top leaves on him now. So finally, he's sprouting. We've had him in for six months and he hasn't done anything. Well, it's because he got eaten up a bit by the deer. Yeah. And that's hence the fencing. Um, another papaya. And um, and that one's coming. You can see the little flowers there, so you know that's going to be that's a female and it's going to yep. have um, fruit on it. Yep. This is our black sapote, which is a chocolate fruit. Really, very, very cool. Kind of a pudding-like consistency of the fruit is. It's really good. Um, you can make chocolate pudding out of it too. This is another mango tree. That's our Kent. And That's our kitty. Yeah. That's our ninja kitty. And here is our avocado. What are you hunting, mate? Oh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. I got distracted by the cute kitty. Avocado tree. Now protected by the deer from the deer. Yeah, the deer oh. really love avocados. This is our big well, trees. They like yep. to eat the leaves. Our Barbados cherry. Very, very high in vitamin C. Whenever we get fruit, we've not had any yet. And here's a soursop tree. And this soursop sour um, has got a big fruit on it, and you can also um, boil the leaves as tea, and it's good to um, help you sleep. And this is an egg fruit tree. Isn't that beautiful? I think that is such an awesome tree. Look at the shape of that. Um, the fruit is really cool. Again, it's kind of like pudding-like. It's kind of a very soft fruit. And these are evil tantan. I'll be yep. pulling out all day. Yep. And this is um, my fig tree. I'm not sure what kind of a fig. It is a fiddle leaf fig. There's lots of different types of figs, but hopefully that one's going to be a tasty fig. And of course we're and all... that's the fruit tree area. Yep. And the boat box and everything. So, yeah, this is where all our fruit trees live, protected by this hill. Oh, and these are um, turpentine tur trees. Well, tu I, yeah, turpentine trees. I call them tourist trees because they, uh, the bark is pink, and as you can see, it peels away. So just like a tourist. Yeah. <laughs> but they That's just called dancing lady. Trees. They are just awesome. And before, we, before we did the driveway, and that you couldn't even see these guys in here. Yeah. See, like there's another one hidden in there that we haven't yeah. like, uncovered. Yep. They're gorgeous trees. But that's our fruit tree zone. 